Hello, hello, everybody. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys enjoyed the bureau sequence of showing Sunny making this awesome dish. So if you guys didn't know, the Korean movie Parasite won like a bunch of awards at the Oscars. Right. Uh, more specifically, do you know which ones? So they won Best Picture, Best Director, Best International, oh, Best Foreign Language Films, and then Best Original Screenplay. And it is actually the first time Korea ever won, uh, ever won uh, an Oscar. So it's a, it's a huge celebration yeah. for Korea. And if you guys haven't watched Parasite, it's basically a dark comedy thriller. So if you guys are into that, you guys will love it. I had no expectations when I went in but it was really good so because of how popular the movie was uh, we actually wanted to try to recreate one of the main dishes yes. inside the movie I think it's around like the midway point of the movie right where the mom asks the nanny mm -hmm. oh sorry this kind of a little bit of a spoiler not too much though where the mom asks the nanny to make the daughter this specific dish called right. randon because she really likes it. So I'm not sure what this dish consists of. So Sunny, why don't you explain a little bit? So randon, or in Korean, is called japaguri. Japaguri is a mixture of two instant noodle, a very famous instant noodle. One is uh, japagetti, which is an instant black bean noodle, and then uh, noguri. It's more of a soupy, uh, spicy, uh, spicy instant noodles. So this dish was actually made popular from like a lot of variety show and also. So a lot of K-pop celebrities has mentioned that they love this dish and that's how it became big. So japagetti basically tastes like a black bean um, noodle but with the addition of the noguri sauces, it makes like a kick to it. So uh -huh. it, it gives you a little bit of that spiciness but in the in the movie they added beef because um, eating a lot of beef kind of portrays like a very luxurious lifestyle in Korea because typically beef is a lot more expensive than pork mm. uh, so that's how that actually became very iconic so I'm actually really curious of how it tasted so this, this is your first time eating it too yeah okay. <laughs> I'm actually new to this so I'm really excited so this is the same black bean sauce I made with Hansel right yes okay but just now it's got a little added twist with the no goody. Uh, no goody and the beef. Oh, yes. Okay, we eat? Yeah, so right. let's start. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my god. I'm, oh, I'm so excited to eat this. Come okay. Come Come you should add some beef. I will. Mm. Wow. Wow. Oh, it does have a little kick to that spiciness in it. Oh, it comes a little later though. It definitely has a kick to the uh -huh. spice. Mm. So the black bean sauce instant noodles is kind of like an iconic Korean mm -hmm. instant, uh, instant noodle, noodle right? yeah. Aside from shin namyeon, which is the soupy one, this is the one that if you don't like, you know, brothy, soupy noodle, you want something drier, this is what typically kids and adults turn to. I remember you always told me about this black bean sauce mm -hmm. noodle. And mm -hmm. then you have it with like dumplings a, a lot, right? On the side? Yeah. That's the real one, but the instant one also you can just eat it with kimchi at home. Well, I really love the combination of these two sauces because I never kind of imagined it. And I never actually imagined the soupy sauce mixed with a drier noodle sauce. It turned out to be really good. Whoever came out with this idea is a genius. So basically, one noodle is supposed to be eating with soup. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The sparsy one? Yeah. I see. Mm. I can't really explain. Mm, this, this is, is like, great. it's basically like a black bean noodle. If you guys ever have like black bean mm -hmm. um, sauce before. Yeah. That's a little bit spicy. Mm -hmm. And that's what it tastes like. Mm. To be honest, when I heard like ja japagetti. Japagetti. Ja. I thought it was gonna be like a little bit like pasty pasta feeling, mm. spaghetti feeling. So it I was, sounded like spaghetti. Yeah, so I was expecting mm. like this to be a little bit tomatoey actually. Oh really? Yeah. I don't Japa know why. Japa but like that was my image, and then uh, the, I saw the sauce. Right. Was red. Yeah. Or the I think that was a spicy stuff, right? Uh huh. I saw it was red, and I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna get some like tomatoey black bean saucy thingy. <laughs> but no, we got we got a black bean saucy guy over here, which mm -hmm. is still good. Mm. Just I just you know. A little bit surprised. I really like the added steak or the beef. I love it. This is actually pretty heavy. And also some people take the, you know, the additional, what do you call, uh, little dried beef and dried vegetables out. 
but you know it's always personal preferences you can always add them i just wanted to try everything and combine everything from the noguri and chapaguri uh, from the noguri and chapagetti that's why you'll be able to see a little bit of seaweed here and there i wanted to point out that um kakao talk is one of the um, messaging app so within that messaging app they have this um two gifts for people Oh, they have and this? Yeah, typically, no, no, no. Mm, I think I'm not sure about the chapaguri, but typically, people give um, to like other family, friends, loved ones, um, beef in Korea, like hanu beef, as like a gift because it's, beef is expensive. Mm -hmm. So um, that's how that's how much beef is actually quite um, like known as expensive meat in Korea, and that's how I guess. This whole meal came through and ad ad being added beef in it, making it more luxurious. So I wouldn't mind having this with pork actually. I think pork would taste really good too. I like beef better. I'm a beef person. For people who can't eat spicy food, um, this is actually not bad. This is like not burning your tongue. Not at all. Yeah. It's just like a little kick to it. It's so funny. If Chris ate this like months ago, he would have said it's spicy. Yeah, I'd be like, <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> My iconic it's spicy mm. noise. Okay, speaking of Parasite, who, um, who was really like, got your attention? We're not spoiling about the movie, but got your attention in the movie. Like the your sister. first impression. Oh, the sister? Mm. Wait, which sister? Not the rich family sister though. Ah, uh, Jessica. She was cool. Mm. How about you? I like the mom. Which, no, which the, the rich mom. Oh, the rich mom? I think she's really pretty. She was like... Oh, yeah, but, but she was such a she she's such like a, a ditz. Very, she looks like a very typical like rich Korean housewife. Very pretty. Perfect skin. <clears throat> and are she, are she's, they're supposed to be like that much of a ditz too? Uh, that I don't know. Some... No, I think... She was such a ditz. <laughs> I mean the whole part of the movie only works because of her being so... Up in the air, <laughs> right? Yeah. So I actually watched Parasite a while ago. I watched it twice. I watched it um, on the plane. And oh, that I was the first time, right? And you're like, Chris, you gotta watch this movie. Yeah, because I was. Uh, I think it was like on our way from Japan to Korea on on, on Japan airline on business class. I was like, that was a while my, ago. Yeah, huh? my eyes were glued. I was like, oh my god, oh my god. And then Chris from the side, he was like, what are you watching? And I'm like, oh my god, I'm watching Parasite. You gotta watch it. <laughs> so. Um, I actually made Chris's family and Chris watch with uh, uh, with me again for uh, Parasite because I had to skip in a certain areas because um, the movie is actually pretty long but yeah. the flight was short. Oh, so you to, oh, I had to skip? skip. Yeah, I had to skip some part. That's why when we're watching it together, yeah, that's I why was... you're like confused. Like I don't know. I don't, like we ask Sunny, Sunny, what's gonna happen? I don't know. I haven't seen this part. <laughs> Because oh. I have to skip because I have to be smart about it, right? So oh. that's why. That's why they were like, didn't you watch it? I'm like, yeah, but I had to skip some part because we were landing. So yeah, it's a really good movie. I think one of my top favorite Korean movie. Um, I'm really happy that they won the movie though. So the instant noodle packs found in this ramdang, japagetti, mm -hmm. you can find it at most like convenience stores or yes, supermarkets. In Korea. Yes, yes, Almost yes. anyone. Definitely, there's no way you can't find it. So they're, they're that popular, both. Yeah, they're big. They're really big. It's in the top three with Shin Namyeon. So yeah, these are really, really iconic. Noguri is also one of my favorite. What I noticed about this noodle, the, the one pack is actually pretty huge. Yeah. So don't try to eat two because you're not, be, you're not gonna be able to finish it unless you have a big appetite. But yeah, one is good enough actually. I feel like it's fifty percent larger than like normal instant noodle pack. Right? This is actually a huge portion. This is huge. <laughs> I, I I can't even finish it. But I mean, I love it so much. All right, guys. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys want to try making ramdom, well, I guess you can't get it unless you have access to the specific instant noodles. Uh, but if you guys do want to try it, you know we highly recommend it. It was actually a really really good meal, um, and it's quite easy to make. Yeah. Actually. So yeah, I think anyone can do it, even me. I think yeah. I can actually do it as well. Yeah, it's so good. And if you guys haven't watched Parasite yet, I think Sunny would basically tell you to go watch it right now because it's right such a good now. movie. Um, I think all the words that it won kind of kind of explains itself. Right. It was actually a really good movie. So, anyways, please like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Support Parasite.